With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So let's see this question. In this question, it is given that the molar conductivity molar conductance of NaCl varies with concentration as shown in the following table. Like the molar conductivity at a particular concentration is equal to molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of root under concentration. Right where molar specific conductance and this is the molar con specific conductance at infinite dilution C is the molar concentration. This table represents the molar conductivity as well as the molar concentration of NaCl. Now when a certain conductivity cell was filled with 25 into 10 to the power of minus 4 molar NaCl solution, the resistance of the cell was found to be 1000 ohm. At infinite dilution, the conductance of Cl minus and SO4 2 minus is given to us as 80 and 160. Then what is the cell conductance of the conductivity cell, right? So let's see. First of all, what is the equation which we know? We know that the molar conductivity at any concentration C is the molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of root C, right? This is very important. Now, if you calculate the molar conductivity at a particular concentration is equal to uh, molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of root C, if you put the values of the table here, so we know it has been given that the molar conductivity is at a particular concentration is 107. We don't know the molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus. We don't know the value of B, but that is multiplied by root C. What is root C? Root C is 4 into 10 to the power minus 4. So this is equation 1. If you write this in proper ways, then you can use this uh, minus B times. So what is root under 4 into 10 to the power minus 4? It is 0 0.02, right? So this is the first statement, right? This is for the first one. Now, if you write it for the second one, then what is given 9 into 10 to the power minus 4 at 97 molar conductivity. So, you can say 97 is equals to molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of root under 9 into 10 to the power minus 4. So, finally, this value will be equals to 97 is equals to molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of 0 0.03. So, this is 1 and this is 2, right? These are 1 and 2, which is very important. Now, when you solve these two equations, how will you solve? Let's see. When you have 107 is equal to molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus 0.02b, and then the second equation is 97 is equal to molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus 0.03b, then what you do by using the simultaneous linear equation, you can subtract both these equations. So when you will subtract these both equations, you can say 10 is equals to this will cancel out and finally you can say it will be 0, 0.0 uh, this will be plus so you can say 0 0.03 B minus 0 0.02 B so finally B will come out to be 10 to the power 3. Now our aim is to see what is the value of uh, in, uh, infinite molar conductivity at infinite dilution so you can Substitute the value of B in any of these equation to get the second unknown that is molar conductivity at infinite dilution So 0 0.02 times of B. So now let's substitute the value of B here So molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus 0 0.02 into 10 to the power 3 So this you will get as the molar conductivity at infinite dilution is equals to 127 So you will get this value as 127, right? This is only the molar conductivity at infinite dilution. Now what is your next thing? Your next aim is to calculate what? To calculate the value of cell constant we need to calculate. So what is given in the question? You have been given that when a certain conductivity cell was filled with 10 to 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar normality. So we all know that molar conductivity at a particular concentration is molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus B times of root C. So now we know the value. We can calculate the molar conductivity at particular concentration is equal to what is the value of molar conductivity at infinite dilution minus 127 minus what is B 10 to the power 3 into what is root C. So we have been given it is 25 into 10 to the power minus 4, right? 25 into 10 to the power minus 4. From here you will get this value of from here you will get the value of molar conductivity at a particular concentration of 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 is equal to 77. So this value will come out to be 77. Now we all know this equation that 
molar conductivity at a particular concentration is kappa into 1000 by molarity right we know this so if you put down put the value of molar conductivity which we have calculated here in this from this equation that 77 is equals to whatever is kappa into 1000 by what is molarity given to us it is 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 right so if you see this value of kappa will be the value of kappa will come out to be 77 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 1000 right divided by 1000 this is the value of kappa now we all know this important thing that this kappa that is equals to the cell constant divided by resistance so from here what is you can say the cell constant is equals to resistance into kappa so from here what is resistance given 1000 ohm in 1000 ohm into what is the value of kappa it is 77 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 whole divided by 1000 so from here 1000 and 1000 will cancel out and finally this value of cell constant so this value of cell constant will come out to be 0 0.1925 centimeter inverse and this is only our required answer to the given question. So let's check which option is correct. You can see from here option D is correct. So we'll write here that option 4 is correct, right? I hope you have understood. Thank you very much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.